Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today we are excited to show you how to build a new WordPress website from the ground up. In this series, we'll help you take your website from looking like this to looking like this in just a few easy steps. Today, we're gonna to look at another very important part of your WordPress website, and that is plugins. We're gonna look at some of the most useful ones that you can add, but the plugin world is pretty much endless, and they can add tons of different customization features to your site. So if you've watched our previous videos in this series, you'll know that we have our theme all set up and we have most of our site's pages nearly completed. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I would definitely recommend getting caught up. There's a link to the playlist in the description below if you'd like, but if you're all caught up or you just want a couple of pointers, then let's get started. Before we kick things off, let's talk a little bit about what a plugin actually is. A plugin is a piece of software that contains a group of functions that can add or extend functionality to your site. Plugins are located in a place called your plugin library, and to navigate there, we're gonna go on the left-hand side, hover over plugins, and then click on installed plugins. WordPress comes installed with some default plugins, and you can scroll down and see those below. But if you wanna add a new one, we'll scroll up to the top here and click add new. So here we are in the plugin store. This is the place where you can search for and install some of the plugins that you want to use for your site. Up here in the top bar, we've got featured, popular, recommended, favorites, and premium, or you can scroll around and see some of the most common plugins that you might want to install. If you know exactly what you're looking for, over here in the top right hand corner, there's a search plugins bar. I'm going to look for a really simple SSL because that's one of my favorites. As you can see, once I search, it's returned here. All I need to do is click install now and then click activate as soon as it's installed. Really Simple SSL is actually one of my favorite plugins, but as you can see in the top left here, I'm already forcing HTTPS on this site, and so I don't need to install it. We've got a great video, and I'll put that in the description below if you do need to use Really Simple SSL. All you need to do is make sure that you have an SSL certificate on your site, and if you're pointed to HostGator servers, all of our accounts come with free SSLs, so you're guaranteed to have one. Since I don't need this plugin, I'm going to show you one that I will install. I'm going to go back over here to the top right and search for WP Supercache. This is actually one of my favorite plugins too. Caching is really important for your WordPress website because it serves it through HTML rather than a PHP process for every visitor that comes to your site. This can really help increase your speed and it can also save on resource usage for your site. I'm gonna install this now, so I'll click Install Now. Now that it's installed, I can click on the Activate button. Now that it's activated, I can scroll down and actually change the settings on this plugin. So we'll click settings. WP Supercache has a lot of options to cache and customize your site. We actually have a great article on exactly how to do this. So I'm gonna pull that article up now and I'll also leave it in the description below if you need it. Okay, great. I followed the article to the T and now I've got caching on, which is recommended. I moved over to the advanced settings. I made sure that caching was enabled and I chose expert. I asked it to disable caching for visitors who are logged in, like me. I'm also asking it to compress pages so that they're served more quickly. This can definitely speed up your site. I followed the other options for cache rebuild. I scroll down just a little bit to see exactly where my cache is gonna be stored. It's gonna essentially serve an HTML page rather than PHP. Scrolling down a little bit further, I updated the status here and I changed the mod rewrite rules. This actually adds some information to your .ht access so that caching takes effect. I changed the cache timeout change the expiration, and I saved all the rest of the settings that the article recommends. Now that this is set, this is really gonna optimize my site. My visitors will see faster load times, and I'm not gonna have any issues with resources. I'll bring this back to full screen now, and let's head back to the plugin section and look at some other ones. Now that we're back in the plugins page, I wanna add two more plugins that I know I'm gonna use for my site, so let's click Add New. The first one I know I'm gonna want is Google Fonts, which is gonna allow me to do some customization to the fonts that are on my site. So I'm gonna search for that. I see it here, so I'm gonna click Install Now. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that while I'm here. Looks like it's taking me to a quick start page, so I'm gonna click this X up top, head back to my plugin section. I'm gonna go back to Add New. We'll dive in on how to use Google Fonts here in just a second, but I want to install one more while I'm here. I'm looking for Smush. WP Smush is awesome. It's going to allow me to compress and optimize the images that I have. So I've got Smush Lazy Load here. I'm going to click Install Now. Now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and click Activate. 
And now I'm right back on my plugins page. So I can scroll down and see how many plugins I have installed on my site. It's really important here to only install the plugins that you know you're gonna need for your site's functionality. There's a ton of plugins out there, and sometimes if you have too many of them, they can actually slow your site down. So it's good to install just the ones that you need. Now that we're here, let's take a look at the settings for Smoosh. Smush Lazy Load is a really awesome plugin because it's going to help optimize the images that you have for your website. When you upload images, they don't necessarily need to be as large as possible, and it can really help with your site's speed and optimization if you kind of compress them or smush them. As you can see, this plugin has already checked some of my images and has given me an idea of what I need to optimize, so I can actually click Bulk Smush now. It's going to go through this process to smush them or optimize them for web viewing. Awesome, it looks like it's completed. Now it could take a few minutes here depending on how many images you have on your site, but I had 36 images that needed to be optimized and so I'm glad that's done now. Let's head over to our customizer and see what we can do with a Google Fonts plugin. I'm gonna click on Appearance and then Customize. As we can see here, it's gonna allow me to change some of the fonts that I'm using for my site. Now I've got some text down here at the bottom that's Times New Roman, and I'd really like this to be Arial. So I'm gonna change the font family from default font to Arial. As you can see, that's matching now with all the rest of the fonts that are on my page. I can make sure to change all these to Arial if I want, so all of my fonts are essentially matching. Now that it looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and publish, and back out of the customizer. Looks like it's taken us right back to the Smush dashboard, so I'm gonna go ahead and click back on plugins and install plugins, and I'll show you a few more things that we can talk about. If you scroll down, you have your full list of plugins here. You can always click activate, deactivate, or delete if you want to remove the plugin completely from your page. And that's pretty much it for the wonderful world of plugins. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to stick around for our next episode when we're gonna talk about how to add content to your blog. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, y'all.